G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at how to work out fractions of an amount and how to do this mentally. So this is a great video for trying to work out things in your head, but not only that, I think it's a really good video if you're first starting these out and you just want to uh, understand about what's going on when you are working at fractions of an amount rather than just getting some algorithm thrown at you, what is actually going on. So with this, um, I'll just launch into an example. So an example of this is say we had three quarters of 20. Okay. Now, first off, th let's have a look at this three quarters, what three quarters actually means. So three quarters, with three quarters, if we imagine three quarters of 20, first off, what this means is we're getting 20 and we're cutting it up four times. Okay, we're dividing it into four equal parts. Okay, so 20 divided by four. Okay, so this bottom number here is a dividing number. Okay. And then we want to know what three quarters, okay, this is saying this, we worked out what one quarter is when we divide it up by four, okay, so we get, we're going to get five, but then we want to know what three lots of these quarters are, so three groups of them, so this is a times in question. So if you can think about this being the bottom number being a dividing number, the top number being a times in number, you'll be just fine with these, okay, it's a really important thing to understand with fractions, okay. Now, so with this 20 here, we're going to divide by 4 and then times by 3. Or alternatively, we could times by 3 and then divide by 4. And at different questions, are, it's, it's sometimes easier to do it one way or the other. And you'll see this as you get along. We get a bit of practice with these. So 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 3 is 15. And that's how you do these guys mentally. Okay. All right. What about we go through another one? And you give this a go when we do this. So hopefully you get this idea. Um, what about we do three-fifths of, ah, let's do it, of 40. Okay, equals. So bottom number divide, top number times. Okay, because it's literally what we're going to do with these, isn't it? Um, so what do we do? We go 40 divided by 5 is 8 times 3, 8 threes are 24. Okay, instant answer. Pretty cool, eh? So, I better write that in. 24. Hey, how'd you go with that? Good? Alright, what about we do one more of these and then we'll get on to some harder examples, yeah? So, what about, uh, and, and give this one a go. So, see if you can get it before I go through my long-winded explanation. What about we do, um, oh, five-sixths of... 42. Okay, and you're going to see these are all fairly simple at the moment because 6 goes really nicely into 42. It goes in 7 times, and then 7 fives are 35. Okay, so I've given some nice, easy examples here. Okay, so 42 divided by 6 is 7 times 5 is 35. Five, five, uh, 7 fives are 35. And you're going to see I've given some nice, easy examples where this bottom number goes into this number really nicely. But now I'm going to shy away from this. I'm going to steer away from this a little bit and I'm going to start giving some nastier examples. Okay, so what about we do this? What about we work out now three quarters? And we'll work this out of... Oh, what about we do this out of... I'll do a, a low number to start off with. Something like uh, 14. Okay, three quarters of 14. So, what's the answer to this going to be? So, we're still doing that same thing. We're dividing and timesing. But this times we might actually actually flip it around. We're going to do the timesing bit first, the dividing bit afterwards. So, 3 times 14. 3 times 14. The answer to that is 42. Okay? 42 divided by 4 is 10 and 2 fourths. Or, you're going to see this is 10 and a half. Let me go through the actual answer of how I got this, okay? So, let's have a look. Um, so, this, quite literally, we're going 14. Ooh, that's a bit big. <laughs> what about we do this one? We get a smaller pen. 14, and we times this by 3, and we get 42. And then what we're doing is 42 divided by 4, and we get this answer of 10 and 2 over 4. And you might then also say, well, this actually equals 10 and a half. OK? 
okay? Because two goes into this one once and two goes into this one twice. So there's our answer, okay? I'll use that big red pen now to circle our answer. <laughs> all right? So it's that same sort of algorithm again and again. The numbers might get a little bit trickier, that's all, okay? But the idea is exactly the same. Okay, when you're first learning uh, this sort of stuff, I think it's really handy, especially if you're going to take it into a test. Remember some easy examples in your head that you can work with because what works for the simple will also work for the hard quite often, okay? So what about we do one more of these and see how you go. Um, what about we do um, ooh, three fifths of um, 18. Okay, so once again, you might do the timesing part first, the dividing part second, okay? So what we get is as follows, all right, 13, <laughs> 13, 18 times three, okay, the answer to that is, three that's 24, so we have 54, 54 divided by five is 10 and four left over, that four we're gonna put over this five, so four fifths. Okay, did you get that answer? Hopefully you did. Okay, so just again, just to show the working out, this is 18 times three. All right, this is 18 times three, which gave us the answer of, I'll write this in a different color here, uh, 54. 54 then divided by five. And then we got our answer of 10 and four fifths. Okay, so how did you go with that? Good? Yeah, hopefully you did. Um, Alright, so anyway, that's how you do those. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, good, bad, I don't know, let, let me know. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye.